So we're at Connected Cars and Autonomous Vehicles uh, in London. I'm here with Steve Bell from uh, Heavy Reading. So Steve, one of the big topics here around the connected car um, sort of uh, uh, scene is the uh, implementation of artificial intelligence as, as part of the uh, overall package. How is that uh, moving forward? How is that looking like it's going to be implemented? Well, the, the, the story is that AI is being proven out. Obviously, Google's been doing millions of miles and, and other car companies are doing the same. But there's a, there's a fundamental difference between having a technical capability and commercializing it. Right. You know, there's, there's aspects of how do you make a decision between are you going to run down the, the mother with the pram versus the 62-year-old on the pavement. Um, those, are, those are decisions as humans we make, but you know, how do you rationalize that for a machine? So there's a company called Robocar and they've uh, introduced the concept of Robo Race. And it's a little bit like the Formula One process. You think of Formula One as being the proving ground for enhancing engines, hybrids, electronics, everything. So now what they're doing is, that, you know, with NVIDIA, they've created a, a common platform. Uh, Michelin are providing tires and testing ground. And what they're going to put into these robo cars are different AI drivers. So different AIs from different companies right. proving them out on, on wow. a racetrack, a real, real size, you know, real racetrack, road racing, um, effectively like Fast and Furious, but, <laughs> but the, it makes it more exciting because if you think of Formula One, the, some people have said it's getting very boring because you know, the cars are wider, they can't overtake, and you're just watching a car going behind the other one at 200 miles an hour, it looks pretty boring. Now imagine that car's going 200 miles an hour, and now it's got to sort of, you know, avoid a, a pedestrian, or, or a, it's got to avoid a garbage track that's doing 30 miles an hour, or a granny coming in from, the, from a, a blind spot yep. in, a, in an old car. And this, this weaving, this, this ability to make the decisions, and then to understand what that decision making is doing, is the thing that's going to move it from a te technical capability into a commercial reality. And that's when you're going to be able to put it into cars like this right. and really move it in, into commercial. But that's not really going to happen until you've proven this thing. And they, they are talking about the fact that if they do this now, they're going to be five years ahead of where the, the, where the industry is. So for me, that says if you're going to have autonomous cars by 2020, then pro or vehicles, as we talked about you know, previously about platooning, if if you're really going to have commercial vehicles or, or consumer vehicles, that's probably going to be 2025, 28, some, sometime like that, when you've proven out all of the all the facets of artificial intelligence. Okay, excellent. Great, great overview, Steve. Uh, thanks very much. Appreciate it, Brent.